10 seconds into the video and I'm already coughing my fucking mucus out my fucking throat. But uh, anyway, uh, thanks for the video response. The Defending Uh I would have yelled that a lot louder, but I don't want to wake up the neighbors, so uh, I think it's best to shut the fuck up. By the way, um, yeah, I just got through watching the video and uh, couldn't help it. Couldn't help the fact that. Uh, This was indeed the line of the video. It wasn't, it was, it was the line. Let me push play real quick. Guys, you might get stepped on here. Why don't you, why don't you go fuck somewhere else? <laughs> <laughs> that was, and no, I did not play that. I have not played that. 999 times in a row. Of course not. Well, a psycho would do that. But, uh, but yeah. I saw the entire video and, uh, appreciate it. Not that, uh, you know, all in all you were looking for was instantaneous gratification or anything, but, uh, you know, Figured I'd uh, figured I'd give it a go, take a whack at it, and um, yeah, I I might have uh, over exaggerated or overstated the fact. Or not that I meant to present it as an absolute fact that I indeed know who I am and what I want. But I suppose I meant that more from a, you know, You're, you're around someone or you're meeting someone for the first time and you instantaneously start just kind of your brain starts firing and, and you start analyzing whether you really dig being around that person's energy or if they seem really two-faced and they kind of come off as overly friendly or something and it just feels like they're trying to get something from you as opposed to try and maybe just why can't we be friends? Why can't we be friends? You know, you, you'll usually when meeting someone for the first time, not that I meet strangers all that much. I mean, especially nowadays with all this fucking retardation that's going on. Um, the interconnectedness. brought amongst us through the retardation of spreading the virus across the nation. The, okay, I'm, I'm just gonna go off on a tangent, but I'll, I'll get back on track. How you inst instantaneously can almost within the first five ten minutes you'll you'll already know or you'll be telling yourself oh yeah i'll be able to get along with this person or this won't be the first and the last time we'll ever meet or date or 
whatever, you know, or you met up at a gig or something or whatever. But, um, so yeah, it might have been a bit of an overstatement of saying I know who I am and I know what I want, but I meant it more from the, from the realm of, Because <laughs> it's a very, it's a question that gets really conflated in one's mind and then you start being over analytical and over philosophical and you don't want to be too like sugar coaty bullshitty Hanza Wanza shit and you kind of just want to get down brass tasks, you know, but um. But hell, if I have two, if I had two buckets, if I had two buckets, and I had to fill either one with a that bucket's full of shit, shit. If it if it came between who I am and what I want, um. what I want and who I am, right? I guess the one I'd be able to fill quicker with the truth Now I'm like tossing. This seemed so easy beforehand, like before hitting record. This this felt like it was. It would be such an easy easy thing to just come by and come across and and express and just get it out there. But now the more and more I'm I'm toying with the ideas in my head, it, it's just getting more and more like. It's starting to weigh more, you know, and it's like ah. That I was only gonna have to walk a mile down this goddamn fucking desert. Now it's now that I'm like over the horizon. Now I'm seeing that there's still fucking twenty miles to walk in this goddamn desert before I reach Nirvana or whatever. But um, but yeah, I guess now in these. In these nine minutes, I guess I've just flip flopped, and now, now, now it's flipped around in my head. Originally, who I am was a lot easier, and what I w want was far more complicating. But now, within these past, just within these past nine minutes. That's kind of flipped in my head, and now I guess what I want is far is far more easy and simplistic than who I am. And you see, it it just it just it just it just. It gets complicating in the sense that I'm trying to be as objective in my thought as I possibly can. But when it comes to, you know, subjectivity and objectivity, it's kind of like Joker and the Batman, you know, like you can't have one without the other. A villain never, a villain never said that he's doing it because it's something that he loves doing or it's something that he has a passion for necessarily. 
but the villain does it because he feels it's part of his DNA. It's 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 stored in his genetic makeup and he's carrying the rock not trying to glorify or say that he feels he's a good person at heart it, I'm you know I'm pretty sure the villain knows that that he's a sack of shit and maybe he carries a certain sense of satisfaction within himself that the Joker knows he can find almost a sense of solace or peace and knowing that through his faults because of his warped way of viewing society or humanity, that it's because of his faults and his burdens that the hero is allowed to walk around and bask and put on a smile and, 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 and and just have that good old, you know, walking around, ain't nothing gonna stop me because everybody's shit stinks but mine, so it's my time to fly. I'm the hero. I'm, I set the example because I'm the hero. And you're the villain. You're the bad guy. And you, you never really find the hero you never really find the hero giving the villain some thanks. It never says the hero never says thank you to the villain. He can never even at least try to understand why the villain, why Joker has, why his passions, why his morals are what they are, why why the villain carries these, this code of, of almost, almost like a sense of honor, I guess, but you never find the hero saying thank you to the villain. Because the hero never He doesn't even at least try. He doesn't try to put himself in the villain's state of mind or why it is he does the things that he does. Because if he tries to understand just might scare him a little too much. It just might make him retreat. And everything he's built is gonna come tumbling down. It's gonna, and it's gonna be back to square one. But, uh,
Never catch the hero. At least trying. to say a quick thank you. By the way, I saw uh, this is uh, so yeah, this is still the response to uh, the defending champ. Uh, I saw the video uh, Joker perspective um, last night and I have to say, it was a really, I saw that video, uh, I know you're going to get like a fucking, uh, a 12 inch boner and it's going to tear through your fucking, it's going to tear through your fucking gym shorts because I'm giving you the, uh, instantaneous gratification that, uh, that you so very seek. Um, uh, but in all seriousness, I must have, I saw that video like three times last night. And, like, the third time watching it, it was just, it, it was a, a random, like, I started getting kind of sidetracked in my head, but uh, a little random uh, feet fetish, uh, a little random, just voice started going off in my head, and I was like, man, it's, it's funny how... You know, I mean, this is all subjective. It's not like, you know, again, subjectivity and objectivity are like the hero and the villain. They kind of, I don't think you can have sub, I don't think you can really have subjective thought without being, without objectivity being there. And I don't think, and vice versa. I don't, I think they both, they both kind of need each other because they might, you know, there's 14 shades of gray, 14 shades of subjectivity, 14 shades of objectivity. Unless you're like some militant science person who's like, what science said so, because an article four, uploaded four hours ago on science.org said so. And then 10 years pass by and it's like, theory disproven. Black holes are indeed two dimensional because with this new data, so, so I find subjective, like militant scientist people kind of funny. But anyway, I, I must have seen that video like three times, and the third time through, I started just getting sidetracked in my head, and it's like it's funny how, to me, that this is part like one of. I don't know, in the past, let's just say, let's just say six months, right, or whatever. Um, I'd just put it on one of my favorite uh, defending chat videos in the past six months. You know, and that's just, like I said earlier, I mean, it's just all subjective. But what started going through my head was it's funny how one can put tons and tons and tons of time into editing a video, adding uh, little, you know, GIFs, uh, movie clips, pieces of songs, music videos, your own music videos, sports, I mean, whatever, right? You can, you can put like, a fucking heavy fucking amount of time into editing a video yet on the flip side of that you can upload a uh, a video of just a, a still sh it's just a picture of a little doggy like in the backyard like next to a cat or whatever 
and that video of just a, a picture that's sitting there for that just a picture of just a dog just just there staring at a cat or staring at the whatever the fuck he was staring at how that can just I guess fall in the category of oh that's one of my that just happens to be one of my favorite videos so far that that the defending champs uploaded in the past six months and I don't, I don't know why that 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 kind of trend thought was just flown through my head and it, it was just like it's funny how just a picture that sits still for like five minutes and a couple of seconds just kind of grabbed me more it touched me more it spoke to me more and it's just a video of a picture of a cute little doggy in your backyard and you can and there and you can one can upload a video that's 10 minutes long and all this amazing you know just editing and and, and crunched in with some music videos and, and movie clips and and just all kinds of insanity right just like this But out of all those videos, what spoke more to me was just a video, a five, a five minute video with just one picture on it and just kind of your thoughts laid out on paper, on virtual paper. And that just meant more to me, at least it, it was, it, it was, uh, just felt very true very honest very sincere and uh, I don't know I guess I'm a sucker for sincerity I don't know but uh, I don't know but anyway Thanks for the birthday with, with it. <laughs> Can't even talk anymore. Can't even speak anymore. Fucking fuck. Can't even fucking speak. Thanks for the birthday with... <laughs> Why can't I say wishes? Thanks for the birthday wishes. The defending chomp. To the next video and such I just quoted Amendum so I hope he doesn't like I just said the word Amendum so now it's like it's gonna go through the algorithms and he's gonna somehow see this video and just because I said Amendum at the end he's gonna sit through the whole 24 minutes and he's gonna chew me out and he'll be like what the fuck are you doing? And he's gonna do what Amendum does dude that's what that's what, there, there you go There you go. Nobody on this fucking planet, not any 6.9 billion one of you humanoids know who you are or what you want. Because there's only one person that does. And that's Amendum. Amendum knows who he is. Amendum knows what he wants. <laughs>